Hey guys, what's up? Shin055 here, back with another drawing video. Again, we are not doing a request, we are drawing Amy from Sonic Superstars. Uh, yeah, I'll get back to the request next week, but I, I kind of, one, I really like this Amy design. And two, I really want to kind of capitalize on that hashtag Sonic Superstars <laughs> while uh, the game just came out uh, last week. So, um, yeah, so hopefully I get some people watching this video. Um, but with that being said, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. That really helps me out, helps out the channel. And, um, yeah, so we're going to be drawing Amy Rose here. And um, how much else to say about that? So let's get our pencils ready and let's jump in. Alright guys, so to start off drawing Amy, what we're going to do is draw a nice, decent sized circle, about this big. That's pretty good. And then under that we're going to draw another decent sized circle, about that big. Then we're going to get like um, a little like curve line right here, kind of help to show where the skirt is. And then she's going to have a leg that's going to go out and kind of curve around here, and then she's going to have a foot. And then this one's also going to be a slightly curved, but her foot's going to be about here. And then she's going to have a hand right about here. Here's where the Chaos Emerald's going to be. And then she's going to have um, like her little shoulder pad things right there and there. And then another hand right about here. And that's pretty much good for the gesture that we need. Um, so I'm just going to just jump right into detail here, and we'll start off with her face. So um, what you want to do is draw in the crosshairs. They'd be something like this. Uh, that's pretty good. And I'm going to start off with her nose. So her nose is going to be right about here, and it's going to be this nice um, oval shape, like so. And then what we can do is get another little circle on the inside right there. And you can shade all this in black. Um, it's good to do that like now, helps the picture look a little bit more finished. And now that we got that done, what we're going to do is draw in our muzzle. So we're going to start right about here and draw a line curving down. And then it's going to go up a little bit. And then it's going to round off and then just kind of follow the circle that we have here as it goes up. I'm going to stop right about there. And then we're going to start from here and draw, just draw a line curving down a little bit and then curve it in. To that line right there. So you should get a muzzle shape that looks something like that. And since we're on the muzzle, we could just draw in her mouth, which is a simple curve line like that. And then like a little uh, kind of like U shape underneath. And a little curve line right here for her tongue. And you can shade this part in black as well. Very simple. All right, now we can draw in her eyes. So what I like to do is draw a little circle a little light circle right about here and what you're gonna do for uh, this version of Amy is we're gonna get like a little bit of like a V shape and then off that V we're just gonna get a nice curve line that curves over kinda down and in like so and then same thing on this one it's gonna go up curve down and then in like that and then once we got that down we could draw in her eyes which are these big kinda oval shapes and there you get another one here. This one's going to kind of like intersect the nose a little bit, but that's fine. And then once we got that down, very similar to the nose, we're going to get a little like circle here and here. And then you could shade all this in black. Uh, like so. Do a real quick job at it. Like that. And then just to finish off her eyes, we'll draw in her eyelashes, which are um, these two little spikes. So you can get one spike and then a second spike. The bottom spike is slightly longer than the top one. Just going off this eye line, and you could shade this in as well. And we're going to get the exact same thing on this side too. So we're going to get a spike and then another spike. Like that. All right, now we're going to um, kind of refine our head shape a little bit. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start very close to like this line, not touching it, but like about here. And I'm going to gesture in um, basically a new circle. 
and you want to keep it as kind of like a, as much as a, of a, like a perfect circle as you can that goes around her head like this like that and you can keep it light because we're going to draw some details here that's going to cover it up a little bit but the, the trick about drawing Amy um, is definitely keeping her head in that round shape um, more so than like Sonic or like Knuckles or tails, her head's like very rounded and you want to keep that. So um, now that we got that done, what we're going to do is, uh, I'll start off with her ear. Um, and you keep this ear light because it's going to get covered up, but basically all you do is on this little circle shape, you're just going to draw a nice decent sized triangle like this. And then here what we're going to do is start kind of almost in the middle here and just draw a line going up and then curve it down here like so and basically the the trick to this one is you want this line to be kind of close to this line and then have this line start in the middle so it kind of looks more of like a sideways oh, or like a three quarters view of it but again this is going to get covered up um right now because we're going to basically get her three spikes that are going to be start right about here so i like starting out with the top spike and what we're going to do is just draw a nice kind of curve line that curves over and it goes into a spike like that. Then we're going to start right about here and draw another spike that goes out like that. And then here we're going to draw a nice big spike that curves more down to about there. And it's going to curve up and then in like so. And I'll get my good eraser and we're going to erase all the overlap here. And this spike here is uh, really nice because it does help break up the circle shape just enough but um, it's good to have that kind of reference beforehand. So, spike. Now actually we can erase the overlap with the ear too. And then you just draw the lines that, that you want. Like so. And now we're going to get her other ear. Oh, and I could darken in this line as well. Like that. Now we could darken in her other ear, or do her other ear. And almost the exact same thing as this one. Uh, we're going to start with a triangle. And I'm going to erase this line now. Like that. And now what we're going to do, um, different from the other ear, is we're basically going to just draw a triangle on the inside here that hugs, hugs it like that. And then you're just going to include a bottom on that one. Very simple. <clears throat> and then with this, um, kind of just clean this up a little bit. And then, um, there we go. And now uh, with this shape that we have here, what we're going to do is start right about here. And you're just going to draw a line that hugs the headline, kind of like this. And as you get closer down, it's going to meet it right about there. So that's her headband. And now what we're going to do is kind of turn the paper this way. And basically, you're just going to draw, um, I'm just going to quickly uh, gesture in three spikes just to get an idea. But you're going to draw three spikes that go in like that. Actually, this one's a little big. See, again, this is why I like drawing the spikes kind of quickly. Um, just to get like an idea of like kind of where to put them. But that's pretty good. So I'm going to darken in this line there like that and then curve it in and then darken in this line and I'm going to keep these light uh, just because the hand's going to be here and we're going to kind of just overlap that. So that's pretty much it for her face. So we got her face down. Um, and speaking about the hand, let's, let's just jump into the hand here. Um, do I want to do the hand first or do I want to do the shoulder thing? Let's do the hand first. And then we'll base the rest of the arm off the hand. Um, so the hand's pretty good. Uh, this is a pretty good spot for it right here. I'm going to do a little bit more with the gesture. In fact, I'm going to erase some of this stuff. And you know what? I changed my mind. We're going to start with the shoulder first. So we're going to start with the shoulder first, and the hand's going to be right about here. So the shoulder's not too bad. It actually overlaps her muzzle a little bit here. Um, so what you're going to want to do is get um, basically this kind of like U shape here like that and then send it kind of curve in kind of sharply just slightly like that 
and then you're gonna get a curve line, kind of where that curve is, right there. And then from here, what you're gonna do is get a nice curve line like this, and then one over here, and we're gonna stop there because this is gonna go into like the, the hand and the arm. So now that we got that down, and you can erase the overlap that um, happens right there. So now that we got this down, now we can draw on the hand. So the hand's fairly easy. Um, what I like to do is start off with the thumb, which is going to be this big oval, and it's going to go kind of up that way. And then basically we're going to get a series of circles. So we're going to get one, two, three, and four. And one like pro tip is to do it on an arc. Uh, you don't want them going straight across. You want them kind of curving down slightly. And then we're just going to get another little bump here for like the bottom of her hand. But this is enough to get started, so let's start off with the thumb here. And I'm gonna basically hug this oval that we have, like that, and then I'm gonna just kinda curve it up, around, down, and then it's gonna kinda curve into the oval here like that. So there's her thumb. And now I'm gonna start off with the pinky here. So I like starting off on top here, and basically we're gonna just draw a curve line that curves over, and then it's gonna curve down and then in like that and then off this pinky we're just going to do the rest of the fingers so we're basically going to just get the same shape so it's going to go over kind of curve down and then in and then we're going to get another one here that's going to go over curve down and then in there like that and then this finger uh, it's going to go up and then kind of go out and like slightly touch the thumb so to draw that we're going to draw a line going up curve it around here Curve it in, like so. And then we're gonna start here, and then just draw a line going down, like that. Now that we got that down, we could come back to this pinky line here, and just draw a nice little curve line that curves into the um, thumb like that. And that's pretty much it for her hand. And now what we could do is draw the cuff of her glove, which is actually pretty simple. Um, it's pretty much this like kind of oval underneath with another oval underneath that one, like so. And all you wanna do is just darken in this part, and then darken in that part, and then darken in this part. Basically, you wanna have like a little gap in between this line right here, like so. And now that we got that done, we can just draw a nice curve, a line going across here, one that kinda of curves over a little bit and then goes into this curve line right here. And now that we got that down, we could draw a line kind of curving over and around like that. And there's her um, sleeve. So again, nothing too hard. I don't think that was too difficult. I think you're following along. That shouldn't be too bad. Um, so now that we got that down, what we can do now, I'm gonna darken in this line a little bit. So now that we got that down, what we can do is draw kind of like um, her collar. I don't even know what you call this. Uh, but she has like, kind of like a thing right here. But before we do that, I'm actually going to draw in the body shape now. So this is actually pretty good. So we're going to start off this sleeve, and we're we'll going to start right about here. And you're basically just going to draw a little curve line that curves in like this. And it's going to go around like that, about here. And then here, it's just going to kind of bounce out, and then just kind of go into that line like that. And now we'll get the collar thing. And basically what you're gonna do is just get an upside down V like this, and then just a curve line curving in like that. It honestly looks like a Pac-Man. Um, if I were to like finish off this circle, it looks like Pac-Man that's like eating, going down. Um, you can kind of think of it like that shape. And, but now that that's done, a lot of these lines are pretty light. But now that that's done, we can move into the skirt here. And the skirt's pretty simple. Um, basically, I'll start off here, and this is actually like a pretty good size for the skirt. Um, but basically what you wanna do is just draw kind of like a wavy line that's gonna go like that. And then it's gonna curve up like that, and this one's gonna curve in like that. And then kind of like on the, the kind of tips of these waves, like the top part, you're just gonna draw a line going in like that. You'll probably get one right about there like so, just to show some folds. If you want to, kind of like when, it, when it's like a little bit extreme here, you can kind of draw a little line like that to show the inside of it. You really wouldn't see one here, but I guess if you wanted to draw one in, it'd be just about there, like that. Um, but that's pretty much good for the skirt. 
And now from the skirt, we can go straight into the legs and then the shoes. So I'm just gonna draw the legs first. We're gonna start right about here and just draw a nice little curve line like this. And then we're gonna draw a line going down like that. And we're gonna draw it up and then in like so. So there's one leg. And then from that leg, we're basically gonna go into the shoe here. So um, you could break it down to like, there's gonna be like an oval right here. And then the shoe is gonna be something like that. So um, what you wanna do is around this part, you're gonna just draw another kind of oval, like so. And then from that oval, what you wanna do is draw a line starting around right here, kind of hug the oval until it gets to here, then it's gonna dip in and then around, kind of go up like that. I'll zoom in a little bit. And now here, um, she has like a little tag right here. So to draw that in, it's pretty simple. What you're gonna do is draw a curve line that hugs kind of like this line right here. Then it's gonna go down and around and then up like that. And I'll erase kind of the overlap so you can see it a little bit clearer. Like so, and then this would be like that. It's good here. Oh, also you can kind of shade this in too, if you want to. This would all be black. And now that we've got that done, we can just go straight into the shoe shape here. And the shoe's pretty, pretty simple. Um, we're gonna just draw a line going down here, go down like this, and then you're gonna stop right about here and just draw a nice little curve line like that. And then just extend this one out and it's pretty much following the shoe shape that we have here, like so. And now we're just gonna draw the bottom of the shoe real quick and it's super simple. All you do is draw a line extending out here, hug the bottom of the shoe, then it's gonna curve over and up like that. And then what you could do is, I'll just erase kind of the sketchiness that we have here. So it's nice and clear on camera. like so. And now we'll draw in her shoelaces. And her shoelaces are pretty easy. It kind of goes off this shape and you're basically gonna get this kind of really rounded square almost like that. And then from that square, what we're gonna do is draw a nice big kind of oval shape there and then another one about there like that. And then simply what you're gonna do is draw a slightly smaller oval shape that hugs the inside like that. And then you're just gonna get two rectangles here. So you're gonna get one long rectangle about here and then a slightly shorter one right here like that. And then it's just gonna connect in with a line right there. That's pretty much her shoe. And we're pretty much gonna draw the same shape right here. So we're gonna draw two lines going down here like this. So we got our leg in there like that. And then we're gonna draw that oval that goes around it like so. You can shade it in, I'll shade it in now. And then we're gonna get that oval that kinda of goes around, kinda of dips down a little bit. This one's a little bit more head on, so what we're gonna do is see that kinda of tag with that curve line. It's gonna go down, and kinda of curve around and then up like that. And you can erase this line too and get rid of all the overlap. And then I'm gonna gesture in the shoe shape again. So it's basically gonna just be a shape that looks something like this. Really don't know how to explain what like this shape looks like. It looks like a shoe. <laughs> um, so there's that shape and then I'll draw in that little curve line for the top part of the shoe or like the front part of it. Kind of just darken in this line, round off that line. Then we're gonna get that uh, the bottom of her shoe like this. And then same thing, um, we're gonna get that really rounded square right here. And then another uh, kind of loop shape with another loop shape going out like that. And then a slightly smaller one on the inside, like so. And now what we're gonna do is get the rectangle here and the rectangle here. 
And that's pretty much it for our shoe. So yeah, we're almost done with Amy now. Last thing we need to do is draw in her hand, which is slightly easier than this hand because um, we don't see as much of it because the Chaos Emerald covers it all. Um, but we are going to start kind of with the gesture of the hand. So basically we're going to start out with a thumb. And the thumb's kind of going to go out here. And she's going to have like another part of her palm here. And then it's going to kind of go out with like a finger. And we'll see another finger. And then the Chaos Emerald covers the rest. But what we're actually going to start out with is um, her cuff part of her glove that's going to be right about here. And actually before we do that, let's draw in this part, like her shoulder pad again. Um, so it's actually pretty simple. What we're going to do is start right about here and just draw in going out, kind of curve it in, and then up to like her muzzle there like that. And then we're just going to get a little rectangle here, like so. And then what we're going to do is get two parallel lines that go up here like that. And then what you get is, you'll start right about here, and then you're just going to get an oval that intersects those lines like so. And you can shade this part in black as well. Very easy. I'll zoom in a little bit more. And now what we're going to do is get a curve line that curves in like this, and another one that curves in like that, and you want to keep the gap in here, and then you're just going to get another little kind of curve line like that. That's the cuff part of her glove. And now what we're going to do is go kind of straight into her thumb. So we're basically going to follow this oval. Um, it's going to go out here, and then we get the tip of the thumb here, and it's going to go in, and then we're going to get like her palm right here. I'm going to draw this part light because of the Chaos Emerald. And then for this part of the hand, what we're going to do is draw a line kind of curving out. Go in like this, and you see the pinky right here. But now we're going to draw in the Chaos Emerald. So the Chaos Emerald is pretty easy. Um, what you're going to want to do is draw um, kind of like an elongated oval, like so. Uh, kind of fix that a little bit. Like that. And then here what you're going to do is draw a line going down on the angles here. So it's going to go down and out, like kind of away from the oval. And it's going to get to here, and then it's going to curve in here, then it's going to do that curve in, and you're going to meet somewhere in the middle there like that. And then you're going to get a curve line right here, kind of where these two um, change direction. And then what you're going to do is get basically this kind of like zigzag shape like that. And then where the zigzag touches this line, you're going to just draw a straight line going down the middle here, and then another one going down the middle there. And there you go, you have your Chaos Emerald. I'm going to darken in this line right here like that. And then you'd see one more finger about here. And then maybe like a little bit of a hand there like that. But that is pretty much how you draw Amy from Sonic Superstars. A little challenging, she has a lot to her. Uh, like her shoes are a little bit more detailed than like say Sonic's. And um, she's wearing like kind of more clothes. So she's a little bit more detailed and especially in the head she has more like spikes and like the hairband. So there's more things to consider, but uh, overall I'd say it's not too bad. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'll put the sketch that I just did right up here, and I'll put the ink version I did beforehand up there as well, so you get a nice reference of how they both look. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys have requests for me, just leave it in the comment section below. And tune in on Sundays when I make a drawing video uh, and see if your request comes up. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having fun playing Sonic Superstars. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye. Later.